Yesterday, we spoke about Jacob Wall and Surefire Intelligence and how it appears based on reporting and an investigation by TYT Investigates that the FBI is in fact looking into the false allegations that Jacob Wall had made about Robert Mueller allegedly carrying out sexual misconduct against women who he had allegedly paid $20,000 or attempted to pay $20,000 to so those women could uh, lie in sworn affidavits about how they had been sexually assaulted by Robert Mueller. Anyway, that's a downer part of the story because that was, of course, all debunked. But as we were covering that, Ken Klippenstein, who is our TYT Investigates reporter, uh, reached out to me with something I hadn't seen before. And it is an image of uh, someone who was apparently hired by Jacob Wall to be his uh, security person. Let's just take a look at the tweet. Okay. This is during CPAC. This is during CPAC, yeah. Jacob Wall is giving his CPAC presser while flanked by a tiny security guard with a single AirPod in his ear. I um I I died. I can't. No, I died. I died. It was so good. It's so like I want Jacob Wall stories to continue because it gives me a little bit of comic relief. You know, especially with all the depressing stuff that we cover on a daily basis. And Jake, I'm not gonna let you jump in yet because we have video and we gotta go to the video first. Let's take a look. And doesn't formalize the divorce to her brother until 2017. And one of the most egregious parts about this, right, are these, these details, these details that you're hearing about her uh, saying that she was going to divorce him and that he moved back to the UK and that she remarried her cultural husband, whatever that means. This was all available to the media. Okay, no, all right, the fact that he's tiny is fascinating. Okay. <laughs> No, he's no. he's, a, he's a fake security guy and he's wearing like these dark glasses. He's like, okay, yeah, all right. So, so uh, rule number one of being a security guy, gotta have the dark glasses set, got it, good. Um, I don't have a professional earpiece, so let me just put an Apple uh, uh, AirPod in my ear. That'll pass, right? No one's gonna notice. It's the best. Jacob Wall is the funniest person who's ever lived. Okay, now, <laughs> mind you, okay, I can't stop. Okay, we'll get back to Jacob in a second. Rule Air. number three, must have serious expression at all times. Okay, here's what I only thing I have to say, because apparently it's the only thing I'm allowed to say. Um, AirPod, <laughs> hashtag AirPod. Pod save America. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe AirPod save wool, <laughs> okay. The dude put an AirPod in his ear and, and Jacob and him probably looked at him and were like, yeah, looks good. Yep. And that's what that's what Secret Service or security guards look like. They have AirPods that go nowhere. I don't know what you're talking about, Jake. Look, <laughs> that was he wasn't trying to make him seem like a security guard. Okay, it was just a figure of speech. That's yeah. all that was. <laughs> that's like one of my favorite things ever. You said you have an honorary degree from Harvard. Well, that was a figure of speech. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's yeah. all I had. I wanted to start and, off on a fun note. I I, I want to know what he was listening to. <laughs> so I'm holding out for a hero. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is that song? What is that song? Bonnie Tyler. What are you talking about? Holding out for a hero. <laughs> I, don't I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. So look, uh, I just want to remind you guys. Uh, yes, uh, it's amusing what a clown uh, this right wing uh, idiot is. Uh, but he has accused people of very serious crimes and gotten a lot of attention. So in the Mueller case, uh, you know, no one took him seriously, and he was did a press conference with someone who he said was going to be a star witness, who of course did not show up, uh, and and the list goes on and on. But. Um, he did target Avenatti apparently in a way that got a ton of press attention and arguably ruined Avenatti's um, reputation before it was legitimately ruined <laughs> by his own actual uh, investigations that they launched on Avenatti on legitimate stuff. And so yeah, I mean, it's like, funny, but at the same time, don't get us wrong. I mean, like these guys are dangerous mm -hmm. and they are uh, appear to be breaking uh, several laws. And uh, I, I hope his next act is, comes from San Quentin. Yeah, I mean, he's so dangerous. He's got to have security guards with him to, you know, yeah. watch his. But no, look, you're absolutely right. Um, but I mean, how, 
his mom's got to have a good talking with him. You know, like his mom's got to sit him down and be like, listen, son, I'm not going to let you stay in our basement anymore if you're going to keep committing crimes from our home. Like, you can't do that. <laughs> Meanwhile, the, the guy, the little guy, is behind Wald the whole time. Like, while he's talking to his mom. He's like, okay, hold on. Uh, we got a situation with mommy. <laughs> That'll be the next TYT investigate story when we find out that not only is the FBI investigating Jacob Wall, but so is his mom. The TYT Plus app is now available on iOS and Android. Download to get more TYT content at tyt.com slash app.